I thought you were. I thought you were interviewing. Were you not interviewing the? Oh no, because they were both in winners. We only interview people oh, when they get eliminated. Okay. And then the grand finals champion. Anyway, this is your boy Salinas. Here with Casey, also known as Oni God. Oni God. Oni God. <laughs> Sorry, bro. Oni, God. Oni something no, or other, no, you know, you, you picked that, that troll character. You, that. you don't have to flatter me, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Oni plebe. You know, I'm almost, I am upset that that auction tournament did not have, they have Evil Ryu, but I don't know why. It's because they rigged it, bro. They didn't want you to uh, Dude, I can play enter. Abel, Seth, Hakan. Well, if, Hakan if, I, if I played Hakan, Coco would have took Hakan. But Oni. Okay, so let's talk about these matches coming up. We're in their button checks right now, but we have AB Goodmill Joe, which is arguably the best Cody in the country, and he's going up against uh, Integra. People say the world. People, some people, I'm sure, have but said that. I personally think Momochi is the best in the world. Momochi's Cody is the best in the world. Do me a favor and just get out. <laughs> <laughs> That's just We're me. We're here in Dallas, okay? That's just me. We're representing our Texas FC. Hey, I watch a lot of tournaments, man. Yeah. I watch a lot of big tournaments. I have watched Momochi play. You know, it's it's hard to, to determine who's better by you know in person and not yeah. in person. So oh. you think that if uh, Momochi and uh, AB Goodmeal Joe, also known as Joe Love, it's went up at it's him. just who has the better Yomi game. Yeah. But for, the for, for, for the people out there who don't know what Yomi is, why don't you explain it's that? Mind though? game, getting into the head of your opponent. Okay. You're basically you will know what they do before they do it. That's so basically a short explanation of the only. Yeah, it's like I'm in your head, therefore I. Like a perfect example is like if you pick T Hawk, you know, when you play T Hawk, no, you, seriously, sometimes you get in my head when you do T Hawk because you have a vortex and there's so many things you could do. So I'm stuck guessing, but sometimes you'll know what my guess will be. It's just like a Nash fan and Tommy Guns because Tommy Guns was all up in Nash fan and he was reading him. He was on point. Exactly. So here we have uh, Cody, we have Joe Love Joe on the left. And Integra. And Integra. And they're both, you know, to their uh, credit, they're both extremely good at their characters. Yeah, and they play all the time. So this is this is just a matter of who, who has the better day. Exactly. And we were talking about this the other day um, with regards to it's not so much a Cody versus Ken match. It's a Joe Love versus Integra match. Yeah. Because these guys know each other extremely well. And, uh, and you know they can get away with things that are a lot more risky because is, they know they're yeah, likely to it get is, it. It is impossible from watching Joe play. You cannot jump on Joe. Exactly. Yeah, he's got that. Uh, what is that back medium? Punch? Unless you have safe. Unless you knock him down and safe jump. That's it. Yeah. You cannot jump. Just jump at him. So Ken is. Uh, I'm sorry, Integra is trying to force Cody into the corner, but it's not working out. It is. It's not looking too good for him this first round. He, Integra is not playing. He's he's getting a little impatient here. He's just throwing moves out there, and Good Meal Joe is reacting with a footsie roundhouse. I he mean, look at that match. That was extremely convincing. Good Meal Joe is a very solid player. He's just on point with everything he does. Mm -hmm. <laughs> See, like, I've been up, I've been up for 24 hours, and now I'm in high. I'm all hyped up, and I'm not even tired. <laughs> I'm excited for this. Let's see it, man. Bring the hype, Casey. In those young bloods. I'm 28. Are you 16 or 17? 17. All right. You need to, uh, like to, to, to to fill the gap here for me, yeah. Dad, bud. Hey, be more hype if, if I was up there doing Air Demon. But I'm not <laughs> <up> there, <so. laughs> All right. Here comes uh, Integra trying to get that corner pressure going. Nope. Wow. Catch he that. read that. Uh, he doesn't want to waste any meter here. He rather he goes ultra because uh, he can gain ultra fast, back fast if he goes to take out those fireballs. And now he's close to even with him, too. Wow. Oh, wow. Empty jumpy exonk catches Integra, pressing buttons. This is just, it's its hard to commentate because they're both just waiting to see what the other player does. Ooh, he drops his combo right there. Yeah. Integra shaking his head. Oh, the footsie game. Oh my goodness. Oh, these guys this is coming down the wire right here. Guys just, he just blocks it over. Good blocks from Integra. So, Joe can just kind of sit back here for a little bit. Uh, wow. He chooses not to. He's like, hey, I'd rather he not catches, time he to catch, he, whip, he catches the whip punish. Yeah. Game number one. There's Integra. So thinking about Joe. it. What am I going to do? Epic night in progress. Going. I thought I was talking to Joe about this <laughs> when Nash ran with the characters. Like, whenever you're losing. You gotta carry yourself, change your color. Change your color? Change your color. And it your taunt, even though you might not use it, and your win quote. And now, uh, okay, obviously that doesn't 
technically change the character's Me? gameplay, but in your mind, what does that do to the mind game? It changes my color. Like sometimes it's like hitting a reset people, button. people might be colorblind and it looks like a different color. Or it might be too bright and it blinds their eyes. Especially so with just Especially with Oni, with Oni because some of his costumes are really bright. <laughs> so. All right, well, there he goes with the uh, old man, uh, <laughs> great Ken yeah. haircut. Ken has aged a few years since Cody and Ken last met. Wow. On point focus tech from Joe. And what Joe likes to go for, I've uh, talked to him before, he likes to go, I mean, of course, he's using Cody for this reason as well, but those counter hits. Yeah. He's waiting for you to hit a button so he can counter hit it and hit them to hurt. Cody is frame trap city. Mm -hmm. Man, and good know Joe knows a ton of frame traps. Can we just talk for a second about how they're picking the worst stage imaginable? Hey. And let me tell you why. He bl not Ken's blending in with the background. The reason why I don't like the stage is because it's not super uh, uh, immediately. It hurts my eyes. <laughs> well, it's like you're not exactly sure if you're hitting the corner or not Good as easily as in other background. stages. Ooh, Joe wants none of his car attack. Comes out of there. See, Joe is very smart. He's a life lead. He doesn't want to do anything risky. Yeah, we saw it last time. Though. Yeah, let Integra do all the risky oh, things. There you go. Didn't work out for there you go. Let's set his game here. You Ooh. should listen to you, Casey. <laughs> Good block. That's it. Oh, catches him with the so cross last time he had that exact same setup, yeah. he landed in front with the neutral yeah. jump and went low. And this time he did the Tatsu. Mix up, man. Mix up heavy. It's, it's, it's really hard to block those empty jumps, man. The empty jump short is really hard to see that coming. They're really hard to react to. I can't even. It's hard for me to do it. It's just good. It's hard for you. I thought you were the best player in Dallas, bro. No. <laughs> I don't know where you heard that from. <laughs> I'm nowhere near these guys' level. Well, there's that Zong punch, and uh, let's see what he can get off. Yeah, Zong. I, I feel like Joe uses that a lot to get out of the situation. He's always I mean, he, he always has. I feel like he always has light and heavy uh, press down because he's always pressing medium. Yeah. His medium punch gives him, gives him the frame trap. He can do forward the good jab. There he goes. He's a tricky cross up. Oh Landed goodness. him back. Got nothing off of it. Oh. Integra trying to go for a thick throw. Oh. He whiffs. He whiffs the whiff. And throws him. <laughs> now explain <laughs> to me what whiffing the whiff exactly is. Well, he just did sweep, and then he did forward roundhouse, which went over the sweep, and then he threw him. That's whiffing the whiff. <laughs> <laughs> now I understand. I'm That's whiffing the whiff. <laughs> You're oh my the goodness. Tech, man. Oh, oh yeah. wow. 90 seconds in. You already got oh a stun. You did some right. Joe is just all over Integra in this bat. So oh that's my goodness. Ken, is it, hey, Joe. Joe can just sit. Look, can I jump on Joe? Back medium all day. Oh. You know, Tucker's got his ultra. The yeah, Exong is coming. He's going to do it. The yeah, Exong. <laughs> Car throw from the Tegra. What's up, does he have here? There it is. Ooh, we're done the throw again. Doesn't even go for anything. Just throws him. Ooh, tech from Joe. Big tech from Joe there. Just been waiting. Oh. That's not a full screen. That would not, that would not have catch, caught Integra. Oh, my goodness. Do not jump, says Integra. That was a good setup. The normal. Puts the game from Joe, catches Integra. Now, was that a winner's match or a loser's that match? That was winners. That was winners? Okay. Yeah. So either now Integra's and losers. Okay. Obviously. Well, uh, I mean, I hate to say it, Integra, but that's kind of what I expected. <laughs> uh, I was actually expect. I was really expecting Nash fan to beat.